dear students welcome to the video lecture of online compiler for uh, c c++ python and java okay so type program is program is c compiler in your google search okay choose the first link okay so c online compiler program is okay choose the compiler so this is the environment of the c compiler so this is your coding window and we are having a output window okay so here we are having a menu option okay so first we will go to the coding window to run the program to run the program you have to choose the run menu so if you choose the run menu you will get a output hello world okay uh, next okay we will try a program to try a new program you have to remove everything okay and uh, type your code okay so the code i'm typing hash include hash include std io dot h okay so void main i am declaring a two variable integer a equal to 10 comma b equal to 20 comma c semicolon now i am typing c equal to a plus b okay i am okay typing expression like this then i am printing the result print print of print of percentage d plus percentage d equal to percentage d here you have to give the value a comma b comma c okay so now what will happen okay the a plus b will be added percentage d plus percentage d plus percentage d given the first percentage will take the value of a second will take the value of b third will take the value of c i will get a result like this 10 plus okay my result will be 10 plus 20 equal to 30 so it will appear in the the output window okay now i run the program okay it shows some error okay why i forget the semicolon so i am giving a semicolon so this output window will show the error and as well as output okay error also shown here okay so line 7 column 29 okay it shows an error okay because what is expected semicolon is expected okay before this close bracket token so again i am rectify the mistake i run the program once again i am getting a result in the expression form okay uh, similarly this icon is okay this is a enter enter full screen icon this icon is a okay enter uh, full screen icon if you want to go for a full screen you can click the full screen okay the full screen will come like this okay you want to again minimize this you can give a minimize okay the space will got adjusted that's a full screen and as well as okay normal screen okay uh, next we are having a uh, this mode okay the moon symbol is there the moon symbol stands for dark mode so i want to turn the compiler to the dark mode i have to press this moon symbol i have to press this moon symbol it will turn it to dark mode so now it is a dark mode okay my program is in the dark mode for example okay run the program i will get expression okay it's very clearly viewing uh, I, I purposely i'm making a mistake i didn't declare a variable c i run the program again so it will show an error okay in the error what will happen in the dark mode okay the error the line will be shown very clearly okay okay the error is displayed in the background okay again i want to see this okay error okay it's not correctly displayed i, I have to go for the uh, light mode to so go for a light mode okay then i will get an error okay c is undeclared okay that's a one uh, minor drawback of the uh, dark mode we are able to error statement is not clearly visible okay again i will show it to you so in the dark mode error statement is not clearly visible okay okay the statement okay the statement is not clearly visible in the dark mode okay so see there okay only the line is visible okay correctly so this is the one drawback in the uh, right uh, actually the dark mode so i am declaring correctly okay everything is correct okay dark mode is very clear okay see dark mode is very clear automatically it will save the program and get the result okay fine 
So again, back to Dark Mode. So we discussed about this C compiler. So this compiler program is will support the multiple programming languages. So it is supports the Python. It supports C. We are in C now, and it supports uh, C plus plus, and it supports uh, Java. Okay. For example, I want to move to the Python. Okay, run the Python program. You have to go there. It will show an icon like this is a Python icon. So this icon is a Python icon. You have to click the icon. You have to click the icon. Okay, it shows now. It shows the online Python compiler. Okay, so interpreter will come now. So this is a Python environment. Okay, Python environment also which is having a modes like this. Okay, a full screen, a minimum screen, uh, the dark mode and the light mode. Everything is available. So I will do a small program. Okay, okay. For example, if I to run a program, this is a Python cell. This is a Python cell. Okay, okay. This is a Python cell. Okay, this is a Uh, interactive mode. This mode is a script mode. So in a Python compiler, this is the uh, script mode. This is script mode. This is script mode. So this is the interactive mode. This mode is known as a interactive mode. Okay, the two uh, two modes are shown here. Output will get it in the interactive mode. Okay. So for example, I print a hello world. When I run the program, I will get the hello world. Okay. If I want to open interactive mode, okay, giving a equal to ten. Okay. B equal to twenty, uh, then C equal to A plus B. Okay, I am typing C, so I will get the output thirty. So this is I am working in the interactive mode. Okay, it supports. Okay, actually this supports the interactive mode and the script mode. For example, I am doing a program in the script mode. Okay, A equal to uh, input function. Okay, input of input of. Okay, enter a number. Number. Okay, just a minute. Python compiler. Okay, a equal to j equal to input of okay. Uh, enter number. Input is a function. Enter a number. A number. Okay. Uh, so I am giving a function eval. Eval function is convert. The integer, okay. Uh, input function normally returns the string value. Eval will convert it into a number, okay. So next I am printing a. Print the value of a. So a will get printed now. Enter number hundred. Hundred will get printed, okay. So what I am doing, I am getting a number from the user, okay. B equal to. So here now I am having a value. B equal to. Okay, enter a number for A. I'm giving number for A. So here B equal to enter a number for B, for B. So input function return a integer value. Eval convert it into a integer. Okay. Now what I'm doing? If A greater than B, okay. If A greater than B colon, okay. I'm printing print. Okay. A is big. Okay, else. Okay, else. Colon. Print. Okay. B is big. Okay. I run the program. Okay, I run the program. Enter value for A. I'm giving as a two hundred. Enter value for B. I'm giving it a hundred. It print the result. Okay, A is big. A is big. Okay. So this is known as a script mode. So this is the Script mode. Okay, I am getting a result here. Okay, the previous I shown is an interactive mode. So this is an interactive mode. What I shown here is an interactive mode. Okay, whenever you click an icon, icon it will open in the new window. Okay, so uh, for example, it is possible you are able to uh, shift between the dark mode and as well as uh, light mode. Okay, dark mode and uh, as well as light mode. Okay, we are able to toggle between this. So likewise, we can uh, use use for C plus plus also. If you click it, okay, another window will open. That is for C plus plus. So this is the environment C plus plus environment. So this is the output window. So main C uh, dot CPP and output window. So for example, to run the program, you have to click the run button. You will get a output like this. And as well as for a Java, you have to click this icon, the fourth icon, uh, Java programmer. So you can click this. Okay, for a Java, it will go to Java programming. So this is the main dot Java and output. Okay, again if you run the program, you will get a. Okay, this is the coding window of the Java. This is the output window. So here giving facility of 
dark mode and light mode and as well as maximize the screen and minimize the screen so the same uh, okay we are using a program is okay we are, we are able to use it for the we are just giving a uh, c compiler and as well as it is giving a compiler for uh, python okay python and it is giving a compiler for uh, c++ okay it is giving a compiler for c++ okay it is also compiler for giving a compiler for the java okay it is also giving for c++ compiler and it is also giving a compiler for java also so that is it java compiler so okay for example if you click on java it will give a the java compiler also okay that's it okay you can uh, use this uh, online compi online uh, compiler program is it giving an environment for a c c++ and as well as uh, python and java so the first one is a python second is a c and c++ and java okay uh, that's it for this video lecture you will use the compiler and enjoy your programming okay that's it thank you